What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield. In today's video, we're hopping back onto the ranked up ladder with this Motor Drive Electabire and Tapu Lele team. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that bigger subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. You guys are insane. Like I said in the last video, we just passed a million channel views and I cannot thank you guys enough. But this team right here was sent in by my boy Tommy V. Tommy, thank you so much for dropping this team. It looks awesome. I haven't used Tapu Lele yet, so I'm actually pretty hyped for that one. But rocking out in our front spot we got tapu coco we got coco beans over here with electric surge and choice specs he has discharge volt switch dazzle beam and grass knot right next to it we got a new pokemon alert over here we got electivire with motor drive ability so when it gets hit by an electric move it will actually get plus one on speed and then it has an extra extra belt for more damage when super effective moves come out we got thunder punch ice punch darkest larry and protect and tapu coco's electric surge can set the terrain and actually make electivire's electric moves do more damage right behind my face cam we got tapu lele i'm hyped for this one psychic and fairy typing with psych with psychic surge ability citrus berry for item moon blast psychic ally switch and protect its surge will actually pair well with the next pokemon which is galarian articuno galarian articuno is psychic type and flying with freezing glare expanding force air slash and protect competitive Ability and the Kasib Berry for its item. Bottom left, we got the monster. One of the best Pokemon in the game. Still, we got Libero Cinderace with the Life Orb, Pyro Ball, Sucker Punch, High Jump Kick, and Iron Head. Do I really need to say more about this Pokemon? It is so strong all around and just an absolute beast. And then in the bottom right, we got the boy Landers. I've been loving this Pokemon ever since this came out. It is so good and I think it's so viable in a bunch of different options considering it has that Intimidate ability. That is just so huge. You can come out, drop physical attack, and get rolling on after that. This thing is Chewy Scarf with Fly, EQ, Rock Slide, and U-Turn. Guys, you want to try out this team for yourself? Rental code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's go to the ranked level ladder and try to get some wins with this team. First battle coming at you guys. This guy's got Incineroar, Cartana, Tapu Coco, Coco Beans. Yo, I love that nickname I gave it. Coco Beans over here. No more calling it Tapu Coco. It's only Coco Beans. <laughs> Kingdra, Politoed for a little swift swim action, and Landers. Not Landers. Thunderous. Nope, not Thunderous. Tornadus. Tornadus. This one is Tornadus over here as the final Pokemon. Um, I think since he has that Incineroar, I go into Tapu Lele and Articuno, so he cannot fake me out and then Intimidate could trigger competitive. If he goes into that, that's pretty much GG right off the rip. We're going to go for that and see if, uh, how that's going to play out. I'm going to bring Cinderace here, and then I think in the final spot, we just bring out uh, the boy Landris, or do I bring in Coco? Coco could be very, really, really good here. Three super effective moves with Electric, and then we're choice spec in the back. It's either the Landris or Coco. Let's go Coco Beans. Let's get Coco Beans rolling out here, or I could go Electivire. I'm thinking of going Electivire. We got that punch, and we can eat up uh, electric shots. I'm going to go uh, Electivire here. Trash off that new Pokemon. But, yo, if he leaves Incineroar, it is over. Like, we're just going to Dynamax Articuno after competitive. We have the Surge rolling. We have everything. You can't fake me out while uh, Psychic Surge is available. It's just going to be domination. But please show me Incineroar. That would be insane. Come on. Give it to me. Give it to me. I'm going to cry. I'm going to cry if it happens. Show it to me. Incineroar. Let me see it. Nope. Kingdra and Tornadus over here. Dang it, man. Dang it. I went for it. I was looking for it. It's all good. Um, What's King just going to do? We got Fairy typing out here. We got Lele chilling. We got the Psychic Surge popping. Um, hmm. What do I want to do? What do I want to do? Tapu Lele is so cool. I just need to show off Tapu Bulu. But guys, I know we've been doing a lot of Pokemon content, and I'm glad you guys are enjoying it. But the Mario content is coming back very, very soon. I got to finish up my playthrough on Galaxy and 64 Galaxy. I think we have like one more part, then we're going to hop in the sunshine. But trust me, the Pokemon content isn't going anywhere. I'm going to start double uploading or some days maybe just uploading one one day Mario. But trust me, guys, Pokemon's going to still be around. But for the people looking out for the Mario content, it's coming back very, very soon. But how should I go after this? I got Moonblast. Could just drop a big old Moonblast. Um, and I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. Or I could ally switch. Now, I think I'm just going to drop a Moonblast. See if we can get after that. And then do I Dynamax or just go for Freezing Glare? Hmm. Hmm. We go for expanding force. I think I'm gonna go for an expanding force here. It is bigger damage. Yeah, let's go. Let's go for an expanding force. Double up in this king just slot. Cause he might just swap out Politoed or just go for Dynamax Tailwind. He's gonna Dynamax here. That's totally fine. I should have ally switch. I probably should have ally switch to be honest. Just in case he was going for a dragon move, but I think he's gonna set the rain himself. That, that, that's what I think he's gonna do. I think he's gonna Tailwind it and try to set the rain himself. Which is totally fine by me. I can ally switch next turn if I really, really want to with Lele. But we're going to be able to do some nice damage over here. That one coming out. Air slide. Oh, you're going for the flinch. He's going for the flinch. He's going to get it. I already know it's happening. I'm going to cry a little bit. Oh, he doesn't get it. Expanding Force comes out here. Doing some nice damage. I think it doesn't. I think Expanding Force does not work as good as I thought it would. 
because of what's called. He's gonna set the rain. But I think someone was telling me this. Uh, that your Pokemon has to be grounded. Oh, you're gonna go after Lele. Oh, I like that play. I like that play. But I think my Pokemon needs to be grounded for the Surge to work better. Or for that Surge to work with Articuno. That's why Expanded Force does not hit both. But well, here comes my Citrus Berry popping out here. Swift Swim's popping for you. He's gonna be able to Air Slash one of my Pokemon, so I gotta watch out for that one. Uh, hmm. I'm just gonna double up into this slot again. Well, Lele outspeeds that. I'm gonna double up. I gotta double up in the Kingdra slot. Just in case he Tailwinds. If I can get Kingdra out the way, we gonna be thriving. They're both gonna go first, so one of my Pokemon are definitely going down. He's gonna Air Slash again. Probably after this Geyser. He's gonna take out one of my Pokemon. Let's see who he goes after. He's gonna take out Articuno. Articuno eat. Oh, Articuno does not eat. Lele, I need you eating here. I need you eating here, girl. Or don't flinch. Don't flinch. Let's go, Lele. What you got? What you got, Lele? Air Slash coming out here. If we don't flinch, yo, we're gonna be thriving in this match. Don't flinch. Lele doesn't flinch. Let's go. Tapu Lele coming up big. Coming up big, Tapu Lele. Does not flinch. Gets that move blast off. Survives on 4 HP, and we are chilling. Um, hmm. We go into Cinderace with that rain and change our typing if we really want to. But I think I'm just going to go gonna go in Electivire here. And save. And save Cinderace. For the back end, Cinderace is probably going to be our Dynamax Pokemon. Lele's chilling. Lele is chilling. Now, are you going to come out with Incineroar? Then I'll be a little scared. We still have the Surge, so no fake out. Here comes Incineroar. He's going to drop our physical attack. Ew, you biscuit. You biscuit. Diminate's going to drop. That's fine. That's fine. Now, the thing is, does he have... I think... I think my Electivire should be faster than that, uh, than Incineroar. Let me check the stats out. Check the stats out for you guys. Electivire is 161. What's Lele sitting at? Lele is 161. Just, uh, Gornalis is very fast Pokemon. But we have a, we have a pretty fast team here. I think I just protect Lele. Keep it alive this turn. And I think we are uh, Thunder Punch and try to drop out this Tornadus. I think that's the player. But I don't think we're going to be able to drop this thing. Lele getting the protect. He can fake me out. Like, I hope he's going for a fake out. That'd be nice. We have the Surge going. Maybe he's going to go for a Tailwind. Go after my Lele. Go after my Lele. Try to take out my Lele. Please. Thunder Punch. Oh, we still outspeed that Incineroar. Even in a Tailwind. Bop. Big old damage. Dang, dude. If we weren't intimidated, that thing's dropping. Snarl coming out here. Nice little block from the Lele. We are physical attacking with Electivire. So that's Snarl's. I'm not really worried about it too, too much. I'm not worried about it at all. Okay, so special attack dropping. Uh, how should I play this one? Do I take you out? I could ally switch. Hmm. I said we just go for the moon blast here. And uh but Ice Punch. Now nah, we're just gonna we're just gonna Thunder Punch here. Take out the Swornatus. Get that thing out of my way, because I still have a uh, Cinderace chilling here. Here comes the air slash. I could ally switch. But if I would ally switch, then the Incident Wars move is gonna go after my top of the other slot. But Thunder Punch coming out here. Bink! Taking this thing out. And now we're thriving. We're thriving. I think we're sitting just fine. He might snarl again, which I really don't care for. Because again, I'm special attacking. He's got a parting shot. Oh, right, you smart cookie. Good thing I did not Dynamax this thing. No way this thing can swap. No way this thing can swap right now. He can swap after his turn. That is whack. So he's going to get an Intimidate on my uh, Incineroar. Not my Incineroar. On my Cinderace. That is whack that you can swap when you only have two Pokemon left. Here comes Kartana. Bang. Oh, oh, I'll take a Kartana. We're bringing out Cinderace. Cinderace will whoop on that thing, even in the rain. But Intimidate is going to pop here. That's going to be so strong. I already know about that. That's so whack that he can get off another Intimidate like that. <laughs> that is nuts. We should have the Surge for one more turn. Actually, do we have it for one more turn? I hope so. If not, he's going to be able to get a fake out. I like the buyer's minus three, so there's no point of even going into this. Or into the Dynamax of Black the Buyer. We do have the Surge, so no fake out coming out here. I'm going to Dynamax. And do I drop a Fireball? Or do I change my typing? Nah, I really like my typing. I really like fire typing up against this. So I'm going to try to take out the Kurtana. And I'm going to try to maybe get a Paralyze on the Instant War and roll from there. You cannot fake me out. That Surge is coming up clutch. Lele Surge just holding us out here. But yeah, dude, that Intimidate. I should have maybe held on to my uh, Articuno. But I was looking for the early early uh, competitive drop. And then rolling out and doing some Dynamax and just sweeping this battle. But I still think we're uh, sitting pretty in this battle. We're, we're minus one, but he might parting shot, which is totally fine. Because I think this Fireball still takes off Katana. Either way, we're going to outspeed, even though we're minus one. It's times for super effectiveness. In the rain, might drop it a little bit. But still, I think it's just over for that Katana. I think it's done. I think we're dumping on it. I probably should have doubled into it, now that I'm thinking about it. Just in case it is Sash. But chances are, I don't think it's going to be Sash. Let's see what it is. It might be Choice Bandit. It's going to go for an Aerial Ace. That's fine. That's fine by me. You speedy biscuit. And here comes my big old Fireball. Can we take it out? This is what I'm hoping for. Let's get it. 
yeah, that thing stands no chance up against fire. It's like a Durant up against fire, but even worse because it has part grass typing. <laughs> this thing might parting shot. I'd be fine with it. I really don't care. Like the fire is going to be able to get off the thunder punch. Hey, Bob, give me the paralyze. That's what I'm looking for. No paralyze. He's going to parting shot on you. All right, so let's just uh, start, start throwing some max knuckles over here. They are super effective, so I'm just going to start throwing max knuckles to, to start countering up on this and rolling after it. But there goes the surge and the rain. Out of here. Get him out of here. Both gone. Get him gone. Okay, yeah, let's just start throwing knuckles. It's the only thing super effective, to be honest. It's going to give us our attack boost back, and I'm going to just start throwing punches left and right. <laughs> but yeah, I've been doing really, really well on the uh, on the rank double ladder. I've been doing really well. This will actually put me at 13 and 6, which is probably one of the best starts I ever had. That's not bad. That's not bad. We got off this max knuckle. Doing some nice damage. Give me my attack boost. This thing is probably buried. Or he could be a soul vest, but I don't think he is soul vest. I think he has a berry up, up his sleeve. Nice little glob or citrus on him. Let's see. Not rocking citrus. I'm thinking he has a glob, which might get triggered right here. Let's see. Moves him down. Yep, there's the glob berry. There's the glob berry. No paralyzed, but still getting damage off. This match is, is a rat. It's a rat. But yeah, in my stream, like I was, I popped off. I went on like a five game win streak. I went like five and two for the stream. Actually, maybe a little bit uh, better than that. I think I made it went six and two. Or seven and three. It was something around there. We were just doing absolute work and winning our battles. But Tailwind, let's go out here. This Max Knuckles should be able to finish this one off. GG to this guy. Electivire, Cinderace. All our Pokemon actually come up clutch. I just gotta uh, remember not to use Expanding Force with the Articuno. That's like the only problem with this team. Check it out, guys. That battle actually pushed us into Master Ball tier. We are now standing at 1,135 in the world right now. That's pretty cool. See, 13 and 6. Chilling. Looking pretty good. Um, How should I roll out here? How should I roll out here? We got Helio Whisk, Galarian Articuno, Cinderace. Oh, we definitely gotta bring my, my competitive again. Look at that. He's got two Intimidate Pokemon. I'm leading my what's it called? I'm leading my uh Tapu Lele and Galarian Articuno again. I, there's no there's just no point not to, you know what I'm saying? Just looks so good. I think I gotta bring Electivire here. I kinda wanna bring Landorus. But at the same time, I want to bring that same squad. Like, that same squad's so good. He has Helio Whisk. We can soak up shots with Electivire if we really want it. And Electivire does do work up against that uh, Tapu Fini and on that Glarian Articuno. But I got to watch out. This I think might have Volt Absorb as well. So I got I to gotta really look out for that Helio Whisk. It'll be annoying. No need to bring Coco. Uh, I think I'm going to bring same squad. It just looks decent. It looks, it looks good. I don't think we need the Landers. I think we're thriving with the same squad. Like, dude, Tapu Lele is so good. Tapu Lele and, uh, and uh, Articuno. I think the... I don't know who's better. Who do you guys think is better? Let me know in the comment section down below. Tapu Lele or Tapu Coco? They're both so good. Like, Tapu Lele is better for, like, defensive, especially with the Surge and all that. It's so nice. It pairs well. It can keep fake outs from coming and all that good stuff. But Tapu Coco, is, I think, is better offensively. They just both have their ways. But he's going to go with Tapu Fini and Cinderace. Okay. Tapu Fini and Cinderace. I probably should have uh, saved that for my back end. But whose Surge is going to go off? Who's Surge? Who's going to get the Surge? I mean, both Surges actually help me out. I think I swap uh, Lele here, so I can use my Surge later. I think that's the play. Misty Surge is going to come out here. Okay, so you can have your own Surge. I'm fine with that. That'll actually help out my Lele. But I'd rather have the Psychic Surge, and you guys know that. Um, hmm. Good Protect, and... No, I, I got to swap Lele. Let's swap Lele out. For, uh, I think Electivire might come in here. Get that super effective moves. Get that extra belt. We have our own Cinerys. He's probably going to Dynamax the Cinerys, not even going to lie. And then I might just protect my Glare and Articuno here. Now, nah, really no need. Let's just go for a Freezing Glare. Maybe get a Freeze over onto you. And then let's get after it. I think he's going to Dynamax Cinderace. Like, there's, there's, like, every time you bring out Cinderace, there's a huge chance that things get Dynamax. It's just one of the best Dynamax Pokemon in the game. But yeah, I really shouldn't have, uh, I don't think led this. I think people are reading uh, so much into it now. They're just knowing that I'm going to lead a uh, competitive Articuno. Considering you, if you have two Intimidate Pokemon, most most likely you're not going to throw them out knowing that there's a competitive or defined Pokemon on the other side. But Electivire comes out, and he is going to Dynamax that, uh, that Cinder. So it's pretty obvious. Kind of saw that coming all day. Uh, move set, probably sitting with the Steel move, Fire move, Dark move, and Fighting move. Same move set that I have. Here he goes. Big old Cinder. This thing's a beast, yo. It's so good. Luckily, we have our own in the back end. We are going to be able to set the Second Surge a lot or later in the match. That's why I brought out Lele. I think uh, he has Intimidate Pokemon and Fake Out with Incineroar. But Darkness coming out here. He's going to swap, and that is just going to dump on me. That's just going to say Night Night. That's going to say, see you later. See you later. Who, who's that on? Articuno. Yeah. That's who I thought. That's who I thought. I, mean, I think he's just going to dump on me. Darkness is popping off here, and he's going to get the defense drop, dude. Not just any defense. Special defense. And Tapu Fini is special attack. This dude's coming after me. 
He's coming after me. The muddy water's popping here. Oh, we should be able to eat that up. Muddy water, boy. Get out of here. Ooh. That's scary. That is really scary. Uh, do I get out Cinder? Yeah, let's get out Cinder. We're gonna fight fire with fire here. Let's <laughs> get after it. Um, I gotta definitely change up my typing. Definitely gotta change up my typing from fire. Not dealing with it. Let's get it. Electivire might be able to outspeed that. It should be able to outspeed that top of me. That's what I'm thinking. But I'm gonna definitely drop a Thunder Punch. If we can land that, that'd be big. And I'm gonna Dynamax you. And do I knuckle? Do I knuckle? No, he might swap. I think he's gonna uh, change his typing. So I might try to get that defense boost. I think defense boost is gonna be the best bet. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go for that defense boost. I'm going for it. I'm looking for it. He's probably gonna drop it too, but hopefully we get ours off first. There might be a speed tie. He's gonna swap out top of any going to Helios, probably. Landorus is gonna come out here. Pretty smart play there. And, oh my lord. E! You biscuit, dude. You biscuit. Smart play. Smart play, dude. This guy is running me. This guy is running me. He's hopping off and just going off. Yo, chill on me, dog. Chill on me. <laughs> this is going. He's going. Here comes my Dynamax. I'm minus one, man. That's rough. That is rough. That is rough. Battle number two, not looking good for your boy. Not looking good for your boy. We get the Dynamax to Cinderace. Imagine if I would have... Never mind. Never mind. I, didn't even, I don't even have Articuno anymore. Here goes my Steel Spike. I'm going to get Alpha Mine first. We are going to get a defense boost here, which is pretty nice. Hopefully he goes for Steel Spike because we are now Steel Typing. That would be wonderful. But yeah, let's see, see what I'm talking about with just Intimidate Pokemon. They're all over the meta. They're all over the meta. Maybe we should have brought ours. That could have been pretty big. Help us out. Max Steel Spike is going to come out. Yes, come after my Cinderace. Go after my Cinderace. There's no way you're wasting this on like Buyer. You are wasting on like Buyer. You crazy, dude. You crazy. But that's actually better than uh, going after my Cinderace. He's going to get that defense boost. That's pretty big. And Landers is going to get one as well. So, last Pokemon we have left is going to be our top Lily. Now we're Tapu Lele, which Tapu Lele is not bad. Not bad. I love Tapu. I love a little bit of Lele action. Let's get it. Throw this thing out there. She looks so cool. She looks so cool. And she's shiny. Ooh. Spicy. That's a spicy shiny. I think the Tapus are one of my favorite legendary sets. I don't even know if they're considered legendaries or mythicals. I think they're... Like, I don't really get the difference between <laughs> legendaries and mythicals. But that's fine. Uh, Do I Alice switch? I think I might just protect Lele. I'm going to protect Lele here. And I'm going to drop a G-Max Fireball because I'm hoping we outspeed this thing. Or win the speed time. If that's the case, we get a big old Fireball onto this thing. So let's see what happens. He's going to withdraw Landers. That's, that's, that's fine by me. And who are you going to go into? Tapu Finny's going to come back out here. That's fine, Tapu Finny. And you're going to take your Surge back. You Biscuit. <laughs> you Biscuit. I won that one. Even though ours isn't too bad. I mean, even with that one, it's not bad. He's gonna guard and he's gonna switch typing. Okay, smart, smart play. Dude, he's gonna run me, dude. He's gonna run me all day. Go ahead, Lele. Lele's gonna protect and it's just a neutral turn. It's just a neutral turn. He just swapped terrains. Neutral turn and then he's going to swap back into his typing. You whack, man. You whack. He could, now he has what's called who he can swap back into. Landers, which he'll, he probably will swap back into and just start intimidating dropping me. Okay, uh. Go for this moon blast. I'm gonna double up on this slot now. And do I just knuckle and start getting my attack back? I think that's fine. Let's knuckle and get our attack back. But I think he's gonna swap out this slot. And if he doesn't, we're gonna try to take out the Cinderace. Because we are minus. What are we? Minus one? I'm gonna start trying to get my attack back. He's gonna withdraw Cinderace and go into Landers. Kinda saw that coming all day. So annoying, man. So annoying. But we're gonna swap the fighting type, which is actually pretty good for us. Are oh, you gonna swap? You saw a four Pokemon? Dude still has four. He still has Landorus in the back. We didn't even take out one yet. <laughs> this dude's teeing off. Leave me alone. Just leave me alone. <laughs> the double intimidate. Oh, yes, sir. We get that KO right there. Was that a crit? Some big damage. It was a crit. I was going to say, how are we taking you out? I'll take that all day, though. Cinderace goes. Now he's uh, minus one, and he still has Landorus, who he will probably go into next turn. Uh, Lele is going to be able to get off a of Moonblast here, but it's not going to be very effective. But still, we're going to be able to get off a of Moonblast in the surge. Hey. But no fake out. We don't have to deal with that. And here comes the Muddy Water. Lele, eat up. Say that's a tasty snack. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Here comes the Landorus. I'm seeing this coming all day. 
gonna drop her attack again and then maybe swap out again yeah like <laughs> come on just leave me alone right now i'm sick of this game i'm so sick of it <laughs> the intimidates are left and right um he might swap out again i wouldn't be surprised if i see a swap out again i'm not even gonna lie i wouldn't be surprised for that but i'm gonna double up in the lander slot i think that's the play to make yeah we're doubling up onto the lander slot hmm what do i go for here I think it's dropping Iron Head. I think it's dropping Iron Head. I don't want him swapping into Cinderace on the slot. Top of Finny protects. Jeans is still here. Jeans is still here. He came to play. Iron Head coming out here. Jeans came to play. We're doubling up in this slot. We are minus two. Poo poo damage, yo. Lele's gonna have to be the Pokemon to, to do work here. Lele coming in with the Moon Blast. Get it, Lele. Get it, Lele. Get it, Lele. Give me the flinch. No flinch. Whack. That is whack. That's pretty much gonna be game. Pretty much gonna be game. Did I take out my Cinder? Takes them both out. That takes them both out. Man, dude, that Intimidate was insane. Two of them just running my team. Just running my team left and right. But yo, GG, we are now one and one. Gonna hop into our third and final battle and look for that winning record. Third and final battle coming at you guys, and who would have guessed it? Two Intimidate Pokemon on the other team. Yo, says Metagross, Amoongus, Tapu Fini, and Thunderous. But yo, we're looking for that winning record for the Jeans Online Gaming Community, baby. We're looking for it. I actually did do a third battle already won that battle and at the end i looked over look at the recording thing buttons not lit up i'm like how the heck did my recording just stop it just stopped randomly i had the first two battles still recorded but not the third one so we gotta re-record the third one hopefully get a win here like i said he's got a pretty strong team with the two intimidate pokemon so competitive articuno definitely has to come out here again he has a moongus with that uh, rage powder all that good stuff which i think i just feel lele and uh, articuno again Lele and Articuno. Do I lead Articuno? Is that the play? He has Thunderous, which I do have to watch out for. Which I am going to bring Electivire in the back end just for that. Maybe get that speed boost. And then Cinderace or Landers. Cinderace or Landers. I feel like Landers got to come out here. Landers does work all around. But we are going to go Landers here. Let's get after it. Let's get popping here. Um, No Cinderace, even though Cinderace is a beast. But if he leads uh, Thunderous against my Articuno, then I swap an Electivire. Try to get that Motor Drive rolling. Motor Drive, if I get hit by an Electric move, bang, yo. Plus one on that speed board, which is gonna be huge. He has no uh, Tailwind, no Trick Room, which is nice. Neither do we. I'm, I'm liking how this is looking right now. I'm liking how this is looking. If he leads a Moongus, we can throw in some Psychic moves in that Psychic Surge, which is big. Oh my god, but I forgot about one thing. He has the Finny, and the Finny is going to be slower than the Lele, and that Surge will actually help out that. Okay. That's a little tough. That's a little tough. But... I'm hoping he leads an Intimidate Pokemon. He could have both in the back end, which would be definitely scary. But if he leads uh, Finny, I'm going to swap out my Lele, I think. Let's see. It really depends who he leads. Show me Intimidate Pokemon. Metagross and Incineroar. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's get after it. Let's get after it. Competitive getting triggered. And he cannot fake out. Yes, sir. Third time's the charm. We get this uh, combo to actually work out just fine here. <laughs> but here comes the Surge. Bang, yo. No fake out coming from you. And give me my competitive nature. Give it to me, please. Thank you. Um, gotta watch out for this boy right here. But it's Metagross. He's definitely scary. He's definitely really, really scary. He is part psychic type. I think I got a Dynamax right here. I, I am. I think I'm gonna Dynamax and Ally Switch. I try to keep Articuno alive as much as I can. Moon Blasting. Let's see how psychic does. It's like, mm, this is tough. This is tough. I'm definitely gonna Ally Switch here. It's so annoying because look at this thing. This thing just eats up. This thing is just eating. Uh, I think I just go... I can't go for a Mindstorm either. That's nuts. We gotta go for the Airstream here. And try to get for a Cinnador slot. Oh my lord, yo. Metagross is annoying, bro. He's so strong. He is so strong. But we do have Landers in the back with that Scarf. Which I think we can do work with later. This one's gonna be a close battle, I think. We got like a competitive trigger, so I'm definitely Dynamaxing. Trying to get our speed boost for our squad right here. Because airstreams will work out very, very well, considering there's no Tailwind Pokemon on the field. Let's get this Dynamax rolling. He might parting shot, but I'm ally switching, so. I'm fine. As long as my Articuno doesn't really get touched too much, we don't get after it. But that Metagross is going to be a problem. It's going to be a huge problem. Huge, huge problem. Just leave me alone. He might go in the Finny. He might go in the Finny here. Which I wouldn't be surprised. Just switch up the Surge. Let's see what he does. Go for a fake out or something. He's Dynamaxing the Gross. He's Dynamaxing the Gross. Which is a smart play, dude. Metagross is so strong with that. And he and he does thrive with that uh, psychic terrain too. It does help him out a little bit too. He's such a scary Pokemon. Like you guys seen him in my, in some of my videos. Like he's so strong. He's very, very bulky. He up shots like no tomorrow. And he hits like an absolute truck. Probably weakness policy. 
Bye, dude, guys. Let's see what happens here. Here comes a fake out. Just gonna do. How can you hit a fake out? I thought it won't even do anything. Am I using the wrong terrain? Or did they like patch that or something? How do you fake out? I thought that move wouldn't even work because of the terrain. Someone let me know in the comment section down below. Am I, am I missing something here? I might be missing something here. That's a little weird. I might be missing something here. So I'm a little confused on. Oh, he's going to go for a steel spike over onto Articuno, which Articuno should be just fine. That's chilling. He's going to get the defense boost as well, which is pretty big, which is pretty big here. He is clear body. You got to watch out for that too, which is a pain in the neck. Um, let's go into an airstream. I think airstream over onto Metagross. Do a little bit of damage. Actually, I'd rather just go into a, a Mindstorm if I'm going to go after him. Do more damage. And I think um, a Moonblast should be able to take out this. Uh, into Actually, no, it won't. So I am going to go for the speed boost again. Let's go for the airstream over onto you. And then I'm just going to protect Lele. I am just going to protect Lele here. Lele, chill on me. Let's get it. Lele protecting. But I'm confused on that fake out and how that worked out there. But this is so tough considering the one Pokemon that can really counter up on this uh, competitive combo is going to be this Metagross. This Metagross is so good. It is so good. We get that speed boost. Hopefully he's going in for my Lele slot here. If not, my Articuno will drop here. And that'd be, that'd be a little, little annoying. Let's see what happens here. Go after Lele. Go after Lele. No, he goes after Articuno. I guess he's uh, guessing uh, what's it called. Oh, we do eat though. We do eat, which is nice. I guess he was guessing the ally switch again. Okay, so I get another turn here because I'm definitely fast on the field unless he has first turn priority move. Unless he might max guard here. Landers is gonna pop here, and that's gonna trigger competitive again. That's going to trigger competitive again. Uh, who do I go after here? I think I just take out Landers. I think I just take out Landers here. And maybe try to get a special defense drop. I do have Electivire in the back. And just go for his max Mindstorm over on you. And then, uh,. Just Psychic over on the Metagross. I don't think I... Do I ally switch? I'm not going to ally switch here. I'm going to make him think I'm going to go for the ally switch. I'm going to make him think I'm going to go for the ally switch. I'm going to make him think that. Because if I get one more turn out of Articuno, that could be big. That could be big. Here goes my Mindstorm. I'm not ally switching. This should take out Landers, no problem. We're plus four. <laughs> this thing is out here. Came to play. Please. Please think I'm ally switching. Psychic comes out. We'll get a drop or something. We'll get a drop on this thing. We do not go after Lele. Go after Lele. No, he doesn't go after Lele. We should have ally switch. We should have ally switch. That's all good. That's all good. This thing is plus four on defense, so. Oh, I don't really know. I don't really know. That is tough news. That is tough news here. That is tough news. Um. I guess we'll go Landers here. EQ's our best bet. So tough. This is tough, man. What do I really want to go into? I don't want to trigger that weakness policy. I'm going to go Landers, get this Intimidate drop going, and then decide my play. I don't think this is fine. He, he should have one more. We took out the Incineroar and the Landers. This is so tough. Moongus. Bruh. Bruh. A bruh bruh bruh. A bruh bruh bruh. Clear body comes out here. I really don't know what they're doing. This Metagross, I think, is gonna win this, win the game. Um, hmm. This is so tough, man. This is really tough. This is honestly like super, super tough. I think he just goes for a Rage Powder this turn. I'm gonna protect. I'm gonna protect Lele. I'm gonna protect Lele. I don't think he's gonna spore this turn. I really don't think he is. Let's see what happens here. Mugus goes for. Okay. I'll take that. I'll take that. I will take that. that that's actually nice for me. EQ. Like, this is our. Like, we have to go into EQs in order to win this game. We have to go into EQs up against this Metagross. I don't know how much damage you're gonna do. This thing plus four, like jeez, man. Like if we are going to win this game, it's gonna be because of EQ. Here goes his policy. Go after Lele. Go after Lele. Go for like a 
I don't even know. Go in for Lele. Ice Punch coming out. Nope, we're dead. We're dead. Socked. Oh my lord. Metacross is too strong. He's too good. He's too good. There's no way we're beating this thing. There's no way. There's not a chance. Not a chance we're beating this thing. Um, he knows Lele isn't going to protect. I got to go after the Psychic on to that, uh. We're going for a Lariat. I think I have to go for a Lariat. That's my best bet. I gotta go for a psychic over on Amoongus. Oh my lord. I'm terrified. Yo, Metagross is too strong. I seriously think this is probably one of the best Pokemon in the game right now. Let me know uh, how you guys are feeling about Metagross. Because I think it's just... I think it's so strong, man. I think it's ridiculous how strong it is. Rage Powder is going to pop here. Kind of saw that one. He's just going to protect this Metagross. And Metagross should be able to roll out this match. Psychic coming out here. Can we one-tap this and Get it, Lele. I don't think we're going to one-tap it. Yeah, no. Metagross Lariat should come out here. Pick up the change. Pick up the change here. Come on, baby. Pick up the change. Yes, sir. Okay, pick up the change here. Metagross is taking out one of our Pokemon. He's weakness policy proc. Unless he misses. He missed. No, he's taking out Lele. Bye, Lele. Thank you for coming. Oh, my lord. Okay. Only chance we win this game. He gets a crit, dude. What you mean? I think he was taking him out regardless. He gets that attack boost from Meteor Mash. Bruh. Only chance we win this game here is if I paralyze this thing and we just keep rolling. Fair? That's it. I, or do we go for Lariats? He's plus three on each slot. On defense and attack. We gotta go for Lariat. Let's get it. Let's get it. Come on, baby. We need to sing the mess. Easy, yo. This battle coming out of the wire. He's got this one, dude. He's stacked up. Oh, my lord. Yo, miss. Miss. E! <laughs> no. No, man. <laughs> I was like, maybe we'll eat it. No, dude, Metagross is too good. He's an absolute monster. We go one and two for this video. One and two for this video. We actually ended up hitting Master Ball tier, which is amazing. I'm glad we got to do this. But, dude, this team is awesome. Tommy V, thank you so much for dropping this team. I love Tapu Lele so much. The Tapu Lele and Articuno combo is amazing. We also got Electivire with Tapu Koko and then Landers and Cinderace as back-end Pokemon who work so, so well. But, yeah, all three of those battles were very, very good. We won the first one, lost the second one, and the third one. But the second and third battles were actually very, very good battles. They weren't just, like, us just getting absolutely slapped on. The third battle was this close. If this guy didn't have Metagross or didn't go for three Steel Spikes, we would have won that game easily. But, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone. Thank you.